Hello, I'm very happy to introduce our national group's activity in Korea. I'm Daniel Lee, who is in charge of Kinex National Group Korea as a president. Today, I'm sharing our national group's activity, especially for standardization, training, and collaboration in Korea. As you can see from the first page, just want to share it with our activity. This is just uh, our joint workshop with uh, KSEA, who is uh, Korea Smart Energy Association. I invited them from them actually to introduce KNX and IoT based smart home solution and service as well as global trend. This is only to show and to open for the dedicated person from government related association and government funded research company, etc. To introduce KNX standard communities, association and global trends. I prepared some articles to show them. In addition, I just show how to apply between smart home based on KNX technology as well as IoT. This is very trendy things in Korea at this time, especially for smart home segment. I also show the collaboration partnership process for local standardization because all of these information to support them to facilitate, facilitate their understanding for KNEX. There are some samples presentation files actually to show what is the contents to show during joint workshop. On the first page, I introduce our national group what we do, what we are, what we are doing in local. Also just a short introduction for the KNEX concept, philosophy, etc. Global Secure Connected is our top things to show why KNEX is a global under the KNEX association as well as each national group or other members. KNX is a global standard, also supporting the secure for all kind of buildings with connected and open standard technology. Even though many people are just hearing about the KNX, but they don't know the exactly more details about KNEX. That's the reason I'm just introducing the general thing from the beginning. Also introduce the KNEX Association, what they are, what they are doing, what's their purpose, etc. Also, left bottom side, as you can see that I just showed the international standard schemes include ISO, IEC, or ISO, CN, Senelec, etc. Which part of the standard has already embedded the KNS technology? KNS secure is also very important for them because this is very needed to secure the personal data, data communication, etc. Cybersecurity is very important thing in general. So that's the reason I just implain, explain the data secure, IP secure as a part of the KNX secure. Also introduce the many our KNX community members and our available systems and solutions for any kind of segment or industries. 
also you know right down buttons actually that you can see there's some simple configuration i just showed a different kind of configuration for smart home with the kinex system as well as iot or others new technology based interactions such as a smart lighting smart audio or smart device interaction at home or at remote site using my remote access or etc in addition i also introduced the many kind of the ai speaker interaction for voice control such as amazon alexa apple city google assistant as well as the local ai speakers Did you know that globally, the energy management is the very hot issue. Save energy or reduce energy uses are both uh, the very important for energy management. Also, actually, energy management standardization is very popular. That's the reason I also introduced the European energy management standard for them. In addition, I also showed the many different kind of our case studies with IoT, security, or etc. Especially KNX Secure with IoT service is very important for them because especially they are very specialized and focused for energy and charging management or infrastructure such as a smart grid, smart city, or other infrastructure energy management, or etc. There are many things related with energy management. In addition, I want to show to them for our global trends for standardization or collaboration, etc. As you know, that IP bleeds, IP building and lighting standards. This is also a start to collaboration. It means the standard joint force for IP based building lighting infrastructure using by IP platform. This is not a new organizations, but as you can see, the Bangnet, KNX, OCF, Thread, Zigbee Alliance are joined together to give a more flexible interaction or interface for commercial building or any kind of buildings, controls, include the lighting control, etc. This kind of thing is very important for us at a building segment to prepare our local approach, why KNX are acting globally and how they collaborate together to make more better, more easier, more sustainable system architecture. The right side is also, you can see the BMWI in Germany how they are acting for submetering, smart metering, or etc. together with uh, internal associations or others related the company or associations, including the KNX association together. This is very advanced building control solutions or other submetering joining together to make a more better the business or better application for end users to give more flexible and open and reasonable solution. This is very helpful for us to understand how BMWI and other associations join together for standard standardized approach on the market. Next one is I want to show the, the our local approach for group standard and KNX code registration. First one is group standard. We have a group standard which is very prevailing on this market. This is a kind of you know first standard scheme. First approach to add the KNX standard as an industry group standard on the supporting of KSEA and KTC. I think this is very good approach with them. Group standard is handled by Korea Federation of Small Medium 
Enterprises on behalf of Korea Agency for Technology and Standards. And this is some process as you can see from proposal, searching committee, notice and collecting industry opinions and public hearing. Lastly, is listing as a group standard. This is a full procedure and it will take around uh, three to four months. So what I want to do is to add a KNX standard into the group standard at first. This is the beginning approach for our next KS code registration process. KNX code registration is, is very difficult, uh, very taxable, very hard to handle in a short time. So that's the reason I just thinking about it should be needed at least uh, one and a half years from now. After finishing the registration of group standard, and then we just bring it to IECSC 25 Korean members to introduce the KNX standard. And then actually the, under the supporting of use from KNX Association, I propose and present officially for them and our government CATS KS code teams. This is uh, also a basic approach for them. Make uh, some nice mood with them and then to process uh, to register the KS code. This is also very important for us to make a good industrial standard on the KS code to facilitate our business or our local companies expansion to make their KNX based product system or any kind of solution and service, etc. Second part is uh, training activity using the KNX training center. Even though we have uh, some acting training center, it's really hard to organize the training course, especially for KNX basic course. Due to the internal companies, uh, the issues. The KNX tutors have their own, their own business. So it's really hard to organize the training course for others who is interesting for KNX based course. That's the reason uh, in Korea and KNX National Group joining together to open the KNX training centers at least four times a year. Now is we've already finished three times at this year's and this is a good opportunity to make more KNX official training sessions as well as to raise more KNX partners. Another interesting thing is uh, we make a MOU, we signed the MOU together between the KNX National Group, KSEA, Korea Standard, Smart Energy Associations, and the VD Korea together to develop the e-learning platform. It means this is a very new approach at this time because actually the, we just tried to make a, an untagged based e-learning platform which can be included in KNX part as well as others, the technical thing together to give more chance to the local people or local persons who are interested to get a training session. This e-learning platform is uh, still ongoing and then we can add a much more better KNX related contents or e-learning contents onto them to make more better situation to give her on tech-based e-learning approach in local. We need to collaborate with the Kinex Association with others uh, related e-learning the company who is in, interested in the Kinex. 
then joining together to make a more better contents for Canix related e-learning into this e-learning platform. We also published the KNX in a Nutshell book, just PDF version, to facilitate the understanding of KNX related user information and the rise new trends such as KNX Secure, KNX IoT, ETS Insight, and Beam, etc. As you can see, there's so many kind of contents from KNX concepts, global histories features and advantages, facts and figures, utility and the scope of application. And also there's another very dedicated category such as a smart building, smart home, energy management, smart city, IoT, Beam, cybersecurity, ETS, and international standards. Also showing the global tech and market trends and conventional system comparisons to facilitate the understanding what's the difference. And they're also showing the our members and many different you know useful case studies. Also showing the national group and associations. Last but least is the showing the communities and overview, etc. This is just version one, and then uh, scale to revise more contents and scale to print out to make a more dedicated book. Another one is that we also make a collaboration network together with the KSEA, and then sign the contract with the KSEA to make a good mood for energy-related standardization together, include training, national R&D, joining, and overall collaboration, etc. This is the new strategy or new approach for us at this time. The last one is for your information. I just showed introduction of our ongoing approach for national R&D project together with the stakeholder, include the Korea Smart Energy Association, VD Korea, and KTC together. It was handling by MOLID as Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transport for collaboration. National R&D project named as development of technology standard and service test standards for each smart city domain regarding development of standard guidelines for smart energy building related areas in implementing various services of smart city based on smart building, distributed energy resource, renewable energy source, energy storage systems, smart metering, the virtual power plants, energy management system, etc. This is a standardized model for infrastructure data service for energy building linkage that should be developed during this joint R&D project. This is still ongoing and I hope to make a more better backgrounding this kind of nice standard research, include the KNX in Korea. I hope to finish well with uh, the stakeholders together, make a more better, nice infrastructure background to stimulate or to expand our KNX business in Korea. Thanks for your joining and feel free to contact me if you have any concerns or questions regarding the, this presentation. I also have, have more background information or more detailed information. Uh, feel free to join me. Thank you very much.